Hey everyone, Lewis here again. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So on this video, I'm going to show you guys again how to source different products from different websites for your Amazon FBA business. And if you guys like content like this, like this one, uh, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And that way, other people can also get value from my videos. So with that being said, here's some examples of products um, that you can sell on Amazon, right? So this one is a poll support by Ralph Lauren um, uh, perfume from Walmart. Um, so what I usually do is I open up the tab, right, for for the Amazon page and also for, I'm sorry, for the supplier page and also the, also the Amazon page. So I do open them up side by side. And then I usually look at the products and make sure that they match. So I'll, I usually look at the title um size description photos and make sure that they match so this one i think matches so this one's a pole sport for for man 4.2 ounces Let's see. okay pole sport it's 4.2 ounces right here it looks good and then from here i usually get the price of the product which is 34.99 or um 34.49 i'm sorry and then I plug it here under cost. And then on the sale price, this is going to be Amazon selling price. So again, the cost is the price of your supplier. For your supplier and the sale price is the price on Amazon. So you plug these numbers and then from here you run the numbers. So I usually look at ROI, sales per month. Uh, but this one is different because this one is a hazmat meaning it's a flammable product. So if you're doing FBA, you, you really can't do hazmat unless you get approved by Amazon. So you can only do hazmat in the beginning as an FBM seller. So FBM meaning fulfilled by merchant. So it means um, you're buying products, having it, uh, storing, to, storing your, your products. And then when you have a buyer, you ship these products to your buyers um, direct, right? So, yeah. So, again, if you're an FBA seller, you can't really sell hazmat products. So, this one I would skip because I only do FBA. Um, and then from here, I'll just look at the data just for practice. Um, so, here's another problem with this product, right? So, this product is being sold by Ralph Lauren Fragrances, which I think is the manufacturer of the product. And this is also a huge red flag because there's only one seller in the listing. So for instances like this, I usually check Keepa. And I usually zoom out. And I see, you know, if there's any anything suspicious. So this one is clearly suspicious because um, I want to say for the past um, like year or so or a quarter of a year, there's only one seller in the listing. And then if you zoom out even more, it seems like before there were a lot of sellers on the listing, right? And then all of a sudden there's a huge drop drop in seller count. So meaning I think Ralph Lauren did um, an IP complaint on, on all these sellers. And that's the reason why it dropped from 42 sellers all the way to one seller. And then if you look here under offers, right, there's only one seller here, which is also a rough low run. So this one is for sure a red flag product. So I'm not going to sell this product. And I'm only sharing this because I want you guys to see which ones to avoid, right? Which products to avoid. So yeah, if you guys see anything like this, right, like anything suspicious, like, oh, there's only one seller that's very suspicious. And then, oh, um, before there used to be up to 42 or up to 56 sellers. And then all of a sudden, a sudden there's a huge drop in seller count right there. Boom. And then for the past year, there's only been one seller, right? So this one is a, is a, is a bad product. Well, oh, it's not a bad product, but it's just a product that we should stay away from. So, yeah. So, again, if you're... If you're an FBA seller, you can't really do hazmat products unless you have permission from Amazon to do so. But if you're doing FBM, you can sell hazmat products. But for this instance, 
this one you can't sell because of a possible IP complaint, right? So, so this one I would skip. Next product. Let's see. So now we go to the next product. And again, we open up two pages. So Amazon page and supplier page. And then we look at the, the product and see if they match. Looks like they match. So that's okay. Looks like they match. And then what size is this? So medium B. So black gray is a color. Is there any color here? Hmm. It says black gray. Oh, this one is black gray. I don't see any black gray here. So there's no black gray. Interesting. Yeah, there's no black gray here, meaning we can't sell this product. So I'll skip to the next one because this because this, this um, specific color, black gray, is sold out from the supplier, right? Meaning we can't source the product from the supplier, so I'm going to skip this one. All right, next product. So next product is a sports card box. See if they're the same. So if, if you guys see like anything like this, I would join the mailing list and that way you guys can get the discount code, right? So for this one, if you plug in your email here, you guys are gonna be able to get this 10% off discount code. So, okay. So let me see, Panini, football, 23-24, plaster box, plaster box, okay, it's the same. So now we plug in the numbers. So 20, Academy credit card. So $24.99 is the price. Nine. And then we're getting another 10% off, right? So this one, we're getting about 43% ROI on this product. This product is selling 233 sales a month. It's pretty good. I mean, the seller account is kind of going up. You guys can see it here. Um... Yeah, so 233 sales a month, and we're going to be sharing with all these sellers. I think it's a pretty decent ratio, right? And also the ROI is pretty good too. So we're starting off at 36%, and then it goes all the way up to like 50 plus percent. Um, and from here, I usually check Keepa. So yeah, Keepa's looking good. I mean, price is pretty stable right right there seller um sales rank is pretty good right now the only concern with this is the seller count so there's a lot of sellers that are jumping the listing or joining the listing so this one is a bit concerning to me but here it's kind of dropping down again so but i think there's enough sales volume anyway yeah there's enough sales volume which, which is this one to um, to share with other sellers, right? So I think this is a good product. Um, and yeah, guys, hope you guys got value from the video. And again, if you guys get value from my videos, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And that way other people can also see my video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye-bye.